Hello there. Welcome to this video using arithmetic boolean comparison and other operators. In this video, we're going to see all the different operators and of course test them. So we will see all the different sets of operators one by one, and we'll also test them one by one. Okay, let's get started with the arithmetic operators. So the arithmetic operators are your plus, minus, division, multiplication, and modulus. So for example, if you want to do 2 plus 1, you could use plus, minus is 2 minus 1, 2 divided by 1, 2 into 2. The modulus operator is the reminder. So 7 divided by 3 is 1. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. Make sure your board is connected to the computer and you have selected your port. Let's go ahead and do that. So my port is good to go. So in this example, we are creating uh, three variables, one of type integer, two of type float, and you're initializing your serial. And then in the void loop, you're actually writing a set of equations and printing the answers to the serial. All right, so you're saying that variable C equal to B minus A. So you're saying 10.7 minus 4. And then I'm printing the value to the serial. I'm delaying by two seconds. Then I'm changing the value of C to A and to B. Then I'm printing it to the serial. Then I'm changing the value of C to 25 minus A into 45 plus A divided by 10. Then I'm printing that value to C. Perfect. Let's go ahead and try this. Go ahead and upload this code to the board. All right, good to go. Open your serial monitor. And now you should see your answers. So 6.7 is correct. 42.80 is correct and you have 9 so we should probably open the calculator and do this mathematics so 25 minus a a is 4 so 25 minus a is 21 into 45 plus a which is 49 that's going to be 1029 divided by 10 that's 102.9. So the modulus is remaining is 9. So that's what you see as 9. All right, looks good. Everything is working fine. Let's move on to the next set of operators. The next set of operators we're going to see are called as the comparison operators. Now these are extremely important when you want to compare two values. So for example, when you want to compare the value of A to B, you're going to use equal to equal to. So you're going to say A equal to equal to B. That means I'm comparing the value of A to B and I'm checking if both are equal. So for example, if A equal to 5 and B equal to 8, then this condition will not satisfy. The next is not equal to. There are many cases when you want to check if they're not equal to each other. So you're going to say A, this symbol equal to B. That means this is checking for not equal to. So in this case, 5 and 8 will satisfy this condition, A not equal to B. You will also want to check less than, greater than, less than equal to, and greater than equal to. So let's check an example for less than equal to. So what does it mean by less than equal to? If you had 5 and 5, then 5 less than equal to 5 would satisfy. Because 5 and 5, one of them is equal to. Similarly. 5 and 5 will satisfy greater than or equal to because 5 and 5 will satisfy one part of the condition which is equal to. So there are many times you have to use these operators. Let's go and try a few of them. Let's try the not equal to comparator here. So in this we have a sensor variable and it's assigned to 7. So obviously 7 when compared to 1 is not equal to. So let's go ahead and change this not equal to. Now this will actually satisfy the condition that sensor is not equal to 1, 7 is not equal to 1 and actually it will come inside the success branch. Let's go ahead and try this. Go ahead and compile it and open your serial monitor. Now you would see that pin is high. So it has entered the successful branch. Now let's try something else. Let's say you want to try greater than equal to. That means 7 is greater than equal to 1. Obviously, that will satisfy. Let's try to change the value of sensor to 1. So that means 1 greater than equal to 
1. That means it is going to satisfy one part of the equation that is equal to. Let's go ahead and try this. So this also should satisfy the condition. Open your serial monitor and there you go, pin is high. And now if you change this even to less than equal to 1, it will still satisfy because it still satisfy one part of the equation which is equal to. Let's go and try this again. There you go, pin is high. Perfect. Now you must be slightly more clear about the comparison operators. Perfect. Let's go take a look at the next set of operators. The next set of operators are called as the Boolean operators. Basically check and or you want to check either. So if you want to check a condition and another condition are satisfying or you want to say this condition or this condition should satisfy. Let's take an example. Now in this condition if I say for example let's say sensor equal to equal to 1 and we have another variable called a then I'm going to say a equal to equal to 1. I'm checking if the value of sensor equal to 1 and if the value of a equal to 1. In this case this should satisfy. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay looks good. Let's open the serial monitor and as you see it says spin is high that means it entered the successful branch. Now if I change the value of sensor to something else then this will not satisfy the AND condition and hence it will go into the ELSE branch which is the unsuccessful branch and it will say pin is low. Let's open your serial monitor and now you will see that the pin is low. You can also try the other statement which is the OR statement. In this case this will satisfy the successful branch because you only need to satisfy either one of these conditions. In this case A is equal to 1. Let's go and upload this. It is going to say pin is high. There you go, pin is high. Perfect. Let's move on to the next set of operators. The next set of operators are called as the compound operators. Now this is going to be used when you want to increment a value or decrement a value by one or by some other number. So for that the syntax is i++. This is popularly used in all the loops. And you can also use i minus minus. This is also popularly used in the loops. And you can also use i plus equal to phi which is equal to i is equal to i plus phi. This is used to add the previous value with the current value. Similarly you can do i minus equal to i divided by equal to i into equal to. Alright let's go ahead and try this. So we have a for loop here which you already seen. Now instead of actually saying i plus plus let's try to change this whole equation to i minus minus. So if I do i minus minus that means I have to count down. So in that case first we have to start with 4 greater than equal to 0. So this should satisfy. So we're going to start with the first value as 4 and you're going to pass 4 to the array and you're not going to see anything because you only 3 positions. So let's start with 3 and then you're going to say i greater than equal to 0. Yes it is greater than equal to 0 and then i minus 1. Let's go and try this. There you go. So now we should first say India, China, Germany and then US and then it should say everything again. There you go. So you converted an increment to a decrement operator. Perfect. Well with that I hope you learned a bit about operators. In the next video we're gonna test some basic functions. Thank you.